Do you want to learn how to write malware? For research purposes, of course. Well, today we're going to review a course that promises to do just that. Sector 7 is a smaller cybersecurity training provider that's attempting to take on the big players in the industry with quality training at an affordable price. And that's something I'm all for. So Sector 7 is somewhat of a new entrant into the cybersecurity training space, offering a different approach to training, kind of in the opposite direction of where the big players are going with all these virtualized pwn boxes and everything else. This course simply teaches you what it sets out to do, no more, no less. The course syllabus covers what is malware development, what is a PE file structure, where to store your payloads inside of a PE, how to encode and encrypt payloads, how and why to obfuscate function calls, how to backdoor programs, and how to inject code into remote processes. And this is taught purely through clear spoken 1080p tutorial videos, text supplements with source code, downloadable files, and a ready built VM for you to download and run. The lab is laid out in a follow along style where each lesson you just build upon what you've already done. I started this course and it only took me about two or three days to finish. It wasn't overly large in nature, which is somewhat good because I didn't have to commit to three to 12 month long courses. I just learn a simple topic and that's it, move on to the next one. So for prerequisites, understanding of operating system architecture, some experience with Windows operating systems, basic knowledge of C and Intel assembly, a good enough computer, VirtualBox 6, and a strong willingness to learn and have fun. Now I would agree with all of these, but just maybe emphasize the programming with C as I feel like a bit of better knowledge in C will make this course a lot easier. As I was progressing through the course, I really did learn a lot more about how binary executable worked and how malware evades targets. It really gives you an appreciation for how C2 frameworks are built and used. In most circumstances, the code is actually provided to you and that can somewhat take away from the challenging part of the course, though this is compensated with two stretch goals at the end of the course that you do not actually have solutions for, which makes you pull upon everything you've already learned and take it that one step further. It won't provide you rote learning, but it will teach you the concepts well, and it's up to you to drill them in. Part of me also really liked that the course was simple and pure raw learning. There was no exam, there was no lab hours that you had to worry about, no VPN, just a lesson and a VM to play around in. That's it. I really love how this course really focuses on fostering your creativity and nothing else about debugging connections or worrying about lab hours. That being said, unfortunately, when you do buy this course, you only have access to the material for 12 months after purchase. And if you want to refer back to it later, well, then you need to fork up the cost again. Now, I do understand smaller course providers do have higher costs associated with them and they don't benefit from the economies of scale. But from a consumer perspective, it really does make you think twice about purchasing the course. So make sure you take good detailed notes. Now, this leads us nicely into the price. Now, at first glance, the course seems like it's amazing value with only 199 US dollars for the full year. However, the course is just an introduction and to get the full extent of what the course courses have to offer, you would want to buy the intermediate and advanced evasion courses. At first glance, this course seems like it's really amazing value at 199 US dollars. However, the course really is just an introduction and to get the full extent of what Sector 7 have to offer, you will need to buy the intermediate, advanced and evasion courses, which will add up to a total of 919 US dollars, which again is still reasonable value when you compare it to the dominant in industry players, but it's not as cheap as you may initially think. It would also be nice to see some bundling here to make the price a bit more attractive. So now onto the pros and cons. The course is very clearly and concisely instructed with learning a lot of things along the way. It is good value, $199 still is a bargain. It is no fuss, just a single course and a VM and that's it, you just work your way through it. I love that simplicity. But as for the cons, you will probably need to start spending more in the future as you progress to the intermediate, advanced and evasion levels. And sadly, you don't have lifetime access. This is only limited to the one year. So again, take good notes. So as for the bottom line, 
Sector 7 Introduction to Malware provides you with a launch pad to start your cybersecurity journey into malware development. It has a narrow focus and it sets you up to go deeper in subsequent courses. It was very enjoyable and most importantly approachable course that I could easily immerse myself in and get up to speed on my malware development. It was simple to get started and learn. Sector 7 could give more value to their customers by providing lifetime access to the course materials and or by offering bundles when you buy their courses together. So thanks for watching. Be sure to let me know of your thoughts on mal the malware development course in the comments below. Give us a like if you could and I'll catch you in the next one.